At the end of last week, Navy released two new NAV admins. NAV admin 168-20 covers our updated policies dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic. NAV admin 169-20 details our priorities for PCS orders following the COVID-19 pandemic. We've gotten a lot of questions over the weekend, and they basically boil down to individual questions about how the NAV admins affect an individual sailor and their family. And my basic point is that no NAV admin can make up for effective communication between the sailor and his or her command, the command and the placement coordinator or placement officer, and the individual sailor and the detailer. In most cases, your first stop for communication should be MNCC. One question we get a lot is, when will the stop movement be lifted? And it's just not that simple. Department of Defense has adopted a series of criteria for countries, states, and installations to allow them to experience unrestricted travel. You'll see a spreadsheet on My Navy Portal which shows countries, states, and installations and whether they are red or green. If you're going from a location that's red to another location that's red, or red to green, or green to red, you will still need a waiver to PCS. If you're going from green to green, you don't need a waiver. Our existing waiver processes still apply. We have waivers for humanitarian reasons, hardship reasons, and mission essential reasons. Hardship general, generally revolves around money impacts to the sailor. Mission essential means that the sailor is essential to the mission of the gaining command. These waivers have to be endorsed up through the first flag officer in the losing chain of command. And I approve them, and as a quick update, I've approved over 8,000 waivers so far. I want to emphasize the Chief Naval Personnel's guidance that we will accomplish our mission without disadvantaging any sailor. It doesn't mean the process will be smooth as silk for everybody, but it does mean that we should not be putting sailors in dire straits. I encourage sailors and their commands to talk to each other about these waivers, and when you have questions, contact My Navy Career Center, the placement coordinator or placement officer, and or the detail. We've gotten a series of questions about the priorities outlined in NAVADMIN 169-20. One of the questions is, why can't we just move everybody and allow them to go to their next duty stations? And there are two reasons for this. The household goods system just would not support that kind of stress. So we're going to have to meter people out across the rest of the year. Additionally, if we let everybody move all at once, we would have no control over the readiness impacts on the fleet. And we have to accomplish this mission preserving the readiness of the fleet, and that means not worsening gaps at sea. So when you see the list of priorities in the NAV admin, it is designed to help us maintain high levels of manning in our operational sea duty units. When you have questions about how this affects you individually, I encourage you to talk to your command and your detailer. Commands should please contact their placement coordinator or placement officers, and for most of these questions, your first line of inquiry should go to the My Navy Career Center. Thank you.